Welcome to the newest and best feature of Madden 99, Franchise Mode. Now, not only can you play the game, but you can play General Manager as well. Take the players through superstar careers and watch Hall of Famers retire in style. You control the salary cap, the trades, and the draft. I hope you've done your homework. Yours truly, James Brown here, welcoming you to Franchise Mode. Here it's all about finding new talent, developing that talent, and mixing it in with your veteran superstars on the way to building a dynasty. You control it all, so don't just play football, but create a world that is dominated by your team. Hello and welcome to the NFC Conference Championship game. I'm James Brown. This time last year, the Green Bay Packers shut down the 49ers' newfound running game, but they couldn't stop Denver's Terrell Davis in San Diego. The question today is, who will represent the NFC at this year's Super Bowl? Let's go out to Pat Summerall and John Madden to find out. Hello, yours truly, James Brown here. It's time for the NFC Conference Championship and the last step on the road to the Lombardi Trophy. So get ready for a great game with the winner representing the NFC in Super Bowl 33. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown and welcome to EA Sports Studios for another exciting season of NFL football. With nearly $17 billion in their pockets from new TV contracts, the NFL has experienced an incredible year of trading, drafting, and free agent signings. Now, as the games begin, we'll find out what it's all going to mean. Let's take you out to John Madden and Pat Summerall for this very first game of the 1998 season. Hello everyone and welcome to the EA Sports Studios. I'm James Brown. It's time for another exciting season of NFL football and a lot of people are asking, was last year's upset Super Bowl win by the Denver Broncos a fluke? Or is this the sign of a new and more competitive AFC? The next 17 weeks will tell the story. Now let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall for the very first game of the 1998 season. Yours truly, James Brown here in the studio, welcoming you to the NFL playoffs. We have some outstanding games on the schedule today, and all of these teams hope to be playing next week. The competition is fierce and the action is hot, so let's get you right out to the game, John Madden and Pat Summerall. Hello everyone and welcome to Honolulu, Hawaii and the Pro Bowl. Today we'll get to see the best players in the NFL all together in the very last game of the 1998 season. Now let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall at the Aloha Bowl. Well, we've had another great season of football and at the end of every season is the Pro Bowl. This year we sent John and Pat to Honolulu to call the game. John, tell us how you got the Madden Cruiser to Hawaii this year. Hello and happy Thanksgiving from the EA Sports Studios. I'm James Brown. Every year, two teams, the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys, invite someone to play them at home on Thanksgiving Day. And every year, Pat Summerall and John Madden celebrate the day in their own inimitable way. Pat and John, take it away. Hey, you want big time football? The hit, the boom, the doink, the whap. It's all here. This is my game. for Madden NFL 99. 
Happy Thanksgiving from the EA Sports Studios. The Thanksgiving Day games are a great tradition in professional football and a great tradition for John Madden and Pat Summerall as well. Let's go out to the stadium and see what they've cooked up this year. Let the tournament begin. Now in tournament mode, you and your friends get to crown your own Madden Bowl champion. Choose your favorite teams and show those guys who's boss. But play it smart because a single mistake can end your chance for the crown. It's tournament time, a single elimination setup that allows you to bring your best game, but does not allow for any mistakes. So bring your smack talk, but make sure you have the game to back it up. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown and welcome to the wild card round of the playoffs. Today is like the first day of a new season, except now the stakes are higher. Every game, every quarter, and even every snap matters on the road to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's get you out to the stadium to Pat and John. Hello everyone and welcome to the EA Sports Studios. After an exciting season of football, we've reached the wild card round of the playoffs. Let's go straight out to today's game with Pat Summerall and John Madden. Thank you, JB. So, John, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Well, it means uh, being with you every Thanksgiving. It means uh, doing a football game. It means having a turkey with a whole bunch of legs, and we have that this year. There's our six-legged turkey right there, and the, the best players and most valuable players are going to get one of these legs, the old turkey leg award. Someday we'll get a leg. Thank you, JB. And John, are we all ready for today's game? Well, we're as ready as we're going to get. And we got, you know, two good football teams out there, a football game, and we got our six-legged turkey. Now, you can't beat that. The legs are all ready to go. The MVP get the legs. Then in addition to the six-legged turkey, we also have a turducken this year. And that's where you take a deboned duck and you stuff it in a deboned chicken and you stuff that in a deboned turkey. So we got turducken going. We got six-legged turkeys. Man, I'll tell you, you can't beat this. Thank you, JB. And John, last year the AFC won the Super Bowl for the first time in 14 years. Why do you think they haven't been more competitive? I don't know. I don't know that there's any one reason. And uh, I think if it were simple to say that that's why, then it would have been simple to fix. And I don't necessarily feel that the NFC as a conference was better than the AFC. I just felt that all those years that the NFC happened to have the best team and the best team won the Super Bowl and the best team happened to be in the NFC and those things are cyclical and I remember when the AFC used to win them all the time. Remember the, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Miami Dolphins and so the AFC did have their day at one time. Well thank you JB and John the NFC championship game has been a great game every year. Why do you think that is? Uh, because I think the the best teams in football have been in the NFC. So sometimes you would get the the best team in football playing the second best team in football. I mean, Dallas, San Francisco, Green Bay, you know, whomever uh, in the championship game, and those were the two best teams. So usually the team, remember for years, a team that would win the NFC championship game would then go on and win the Super Bowl. So sometimes the NFC championship game was as big or bigger than a Super Bowl game.
Thank you, JB. So, John, for the teams that have a bye during the wild card games, is that extra week, does that do them any good? Yeah, I think it does. It gives them an extra week to, to rest players and, you know, they've been injured during the season. But there's a number of other things. One, uh, they get to play at home. And two, the reason that they're not playing is that they had a better regular season record. So they are the better team. So when you put in the fact that they're getting rested, that they're going to be able to play their next game at home, and that during the year they've had the best record, then those are a whole heck of a lot of pluses. Thank you, JB. And John, with a game of this magnitude, do the teams alter their game plans? Yeah, what you do is you, is you have more time to get ready and, and, and you know your opponent and you've been able to watch a lot more film on them. And then the other thing you do is you, is you self-scout. So in self-scouting, you look and you take the things that you've done well all year and you keep those and then the things that you haven't done well, you eliminate those. So you're coming into the game with your best stuff offensively, defensively, and on special teams. Thank you, JB. And John, do the teams that make the playoffs every year have an advantage over the inexperienced teams in these later rounds? Yeah, I think so, because they're the better teams. I mean, the fact that they've made it every year and the other teams haven't made it every year mean that they're better. And then I think, you know, it's knowing what to expect. I think sometimes if you've never been in a playoff game, then the thing that gets you is the unknown. You know, you're not sure how you practice during the week. You're not sure about the meetings. You're not sure about the intensity of the play. And sometimes the inexperienced teams have some surprises, especially early in the game. Thank you, JB. And John, both these teams are getting pumped up for what looks like a great playoff match. Yeah, and you can tell that this is a real rivalry game here. And I think any time that you get a playoff matchup where both teams are in the same division, that means that they play each other every year, twice every year, then there's going to be a heck of a lot more intensity and a lot bigger rivalry than if they don't play each other all the time. Well, thank you, JB. And John, do you feel the extra energy in the stadium today? Yeah, you know, it's, it's something they always talk about, you know, that the playoffs, you, you know, you go up and everything is stepped up. And, and it's not only the players. I mean, you can, as you say, you can feel it here today in the stadium. You can see it on the field. You can, you know, feel the players, the coaches, the fans. And they know that in this game, it's you either win and you go on or you lose and you go home. Thank you, JB. And so, John, the crowd even seems fired up today. Yeah, you know, when we were out there in the parking lot, they were, they were cheering already out there. And they had, you know, they got their hats and their banners and, and they're going crazy because they know that, you know, they have to back their team today. And, you know, and it's been in the paper all week that, you know, the players say, we need our fans today. And then the fans pick up on that stuff. And you can tell that today they have picked up on it because they've been wild and crazy for the last three hours here. Well, thank you, JB. And John, what's the key, in your opinion, to today's playoff matchup? Well, you know, every time I think of keys, I think it all starts with the, the lines and in the trenches. And the, the team that wins that battle is usually the team that wins the game. I also believe it's important to be able to run and to be able to stop the run. And then, of course, you can't say that that's all, because sometimes to be able to run and stop the run, you have to start out throwing the ball. So. You know, you, we talk about balance, and I think it just has to be a balanced type of thing. Thank you, JB. And John, as a coach, does your planning change when you make it to the playoffs? Well, you know, you hope not. I mean, everyone gets a little more intense, and sometimes when you get more intense, that means that you, you tighten up. But there's that old saying, you know, that you dance with the girl you brought, and uh, when you get to the playoffs, you want to use your best stuff, and you want to use your best players doing the same thing that they've done all year. Well, thank you, JB. So, John, are you ready for the season to start? Yeah, this is, this is one of the greatest times of the year. You know, we're finally through with the preseason where the games didn't count and everyone had excuses. Well, we were playing a lot of guys and all that stuff. And today, everyone starts 0-0, but the games start to count. Thank you, JB. And, John, how do the coaches and players feel at the beginning of the season? 
Well, I think that they feel that, you know, this is what they got ready for. You know, you, you work the off season to get in shape, you lift weights, you run, you do all those things. You go to training camp, you play preseason games, and all of those things that you do are getting ready for now, for the new season. Everyone starts off with a clean slate. They're all 0-0, the fans are happy, the coaches, the players, everyone has a positive attitude. And as an organization, uh, sometimes this is as good as you're going to feel all year. Thank you, JB. And John, do you think we'll see a good game today? Yeah, I think anytime you get a championship, uh, you know, you can't beat that. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It, uh, right now, we have the two best teams in football. At the end of this game, there's going to be one, and they're going to be the world champion. And I think when you get that kind of thing at the end, that kind of carrot, you know that you have to have a good game. I think it has to be a great game. Thank you, JB. And John, I saw you down on the sidelines this morning. Do the players seem nervous to you? Uh, no, because it was, it was too early. I think, uh, you know, if you get nervous like three or four hours before a game, by the time the game starts, you'd be a basket case. And usually, uh, I know from my own experience, and I'm sure, uh, you know, that you know from your experience that, you know, you have some butterflies in there, but you really don't get that nervous thing until you walk out of the tunnel just before the game. Uh, they're playing the national anthem. That's a real nervous time. Um, that time between the national anthem and you have your first contact. And then when you have that first hit, you get that first hit, it usually all goes out of you. Thank you, JB. And John, you've been here as a coach. What do you say to your players before the Super Bowl? Well, you know, I've always thought that was overrated because what you have is you have a whole time, you know, a whole two weeks to get ready. And it's kind of you're saying something to them every day to get them ready. And then by the time you get to the Super Bowl, by the time you get to this point, you're, you're so nervous, you just blurt out something. And I remember when we were in the Super Bowl, I just blurted out, hey, don't worry about the horse being blind, just load the wagon. Now exactly what does that mean? Uh, what it means is, uh, you know, that we've gotten all our preparation done and we can't think anymore. Just go out and react. I mean, don't worry. Don't, don't worry about making mistakes. Don't worry about, uh, you know, anything. Just, just go out and play like heck. Thank you, JB. And John, the Pro Bowl is always fun because you get to watch the best against the best. And I've always thought that that was the great thing about the Pro Bowl. You know, the Super Bowl tells you who the best team is. The Pro Bowl puts all the best players on the same field at the same time. So it's an opportunity to be there and say, look, here's I get a chance to see all the great players in the game at one time. Thank you, JB. And John, after a few weeks in Green Bay, I think we can probably get used to the weather here in Honolulu. Well, I don't know. You know, the, uh, I watch these guys and the quarterbacks get used to it and the wide receivers get used to it and the, and the defensive backs get used to it and the running backs, but, but the big old linemen don't. I mean, the big old linemen don't like this heat because they start sweating before sweat starts coming. Yeah, and, then, and then it just makes you tired and tired. I mean, they would rather, if you're a big old lineman, you know, like you're, you know, big old Nate Newton or one of those guys or, you know, defensive lineman, nose tackles and stuff. Uh, they'd rather play in Green Bay. Me too. <laughs> Thank you, JB. So, John, tell us about your trip to Hawaii this year. It was a lot of fun. What we did is we went out to San Francisco, started across the Golden Gate Bridge, and we got halfway across, and then we just made a left turn and just went right into the water. And then we sunk to the bottom, and then we had this, this snorkel thing that went up, so we got air, 
and then we just drove across and we saw a bunch of big old things. We saw big old fishes and whales and, and everything, but there wasn't any place to stop to eat. But it was a good trip, 2,500 miles. Thank you, JB. So John, tell us about your trip to Hawaii this year. Well, what we did is we went to San Francisco and then we went over the Golden Gate Bridge. And at the midpoint of the Golden Gate Bridge, we, we took a left and we just went right off the bridge into the water and then, and then started our journey. Now we were heavy, we were you know, you know, packing heavy, so we, we sunk. And uh, then we had this thing that once we sunk, we just got to the bottom, we had this thing that went up you know, to get some air. So we had some air in there and then we drove across. And, and it's like, it's like you know, it takes us to go from San Francisco to New York, that's like 3,000 miles and off the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, once we, we, we dumped off there and went into the water, that's 2,500 miles, so that's shorter than New York. So it was a, it was a nice trip. And you know, the scenery was different. Uh, you know, we didn't have as many stops and stuff, but I mean, we saw a lot of you know, you know, fish and a lot of, a lot of that kind of seaweed, uh, uh, bushes growing in the water, uh, channels, uh, canals, uh, a whale. Mm. Uh, in fact, darn near brought a couple whales to Play, play nose tackle. When the season started, there was one dream shared by 30 teams. And as it went on, the dream was shattered for some, as others marched to victory. Teams fought for home field advantage, while others just fought for a winning season. The field dwindled to 12, 8, 4. And now the two best teams come together for the most important game that they will ever play. Yours truly, James Brown here on Super Bowl Sunday, welcoming you to Miami, the site of Super Bowl 33. The hype and the buildup are over. The only thing that remains is the game. The excitement is becoming almost unbearable, so let's get you out to the stadium and John and Pat. Welcome to 1999, the year of the cyber athlete, the year of epic EA sports action, the year we go big, 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 the year of wake up and smell the competition because we're dialing it up with skull thumping attitudes combustible personalities and moves that'll shock mr highlight reel we're gonna stare you down throw you around and kick the door in so say hello because we'll make thunder with our hits take your soul to the hole and melt asphalt look for ear shattering board music rattled walls shredded pitch a formal introduction to the canvas and of course, the foam finger salute. Bring it on, baby. We're ready. Thank you. Sincerely, the cyber athletes of EA Sports. It's in the game. Let's get along. Hello, everyone. I'm James Brown, and this is the AFC Conference Championship game. Last year, the Denver Broncos edged the Pittsburgh Steelers in a hard-fought battle to make it to San Diego. This year's winners can pack their bags for Miami, Florida, and Super Bowl 33. Now let's go out to Pat Summerall and John Madden for today's exciting game. Yours truly, James Brown here, and we're ready for the AFC Conference Championship. This figures to be a closely contested game with the winner getting their shot at Super Bowl 33 in just two weeks. Let's get you out to the stadium in that dynamic duo of John Madden and Pat Summerall. Hello, I'm James Brown, and welcome to the divisional round of the playoffs. It's nervous time for the coaches as all the preparation is done and it's now up to the players. Let's go out to John and Pat at the stadium. Hello and welcome to the EA Sports Studios. At the divisional round of the playoffs, one team has had a week off while the other comes fresh from their victory in the wild card game. Today, we'll see which one will go to the conference championship. Let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall who will call the action. Whether you play against your friends or against the computer, you need skill during the draft to have a chance in fantasy mode. That's all about picking a balanced team to take you through a season or a round robin, and it's a great way to play with the best players in the league. So get ready for a highly competitive draft, and remember to be prepared. Hello everyone and welcome to the Fantasy Draft. I'm James Brown. Now in this mode, you not only compete on the field, but you compete in the draft as well. Pick the best team possible and take them all the way in what will feature the best versus the best. Good luck. <laughs> 